Hello, good evening, everybody. So this is Michael here. Thank you all for coming for for today's webinar. I hope you have been uh, well, you're healthy and, and ready to go because we have um, excellent information to share about the technology, uh, which is called Skyway, which is an elevated second level string technology. And I'm going to tell you a lot of information, very important information for you to understand more thoroughly about the technology itself. And uh, we'll get into the details of, of the technological part mainly. At first, I will briefly tell you about uh, some latest news. And since in the beginning of this year, I was in uh, Sarja in United Arab Emirates, where we have our second demonstration and certification center which is called the Innovation Center there. Uh, I will show you some pictures of the development back then. And of course, I will tell you what we have achieved by, by now. And some, uh, some few news more I have uh, brought out here. And then we will dig into the technology itself. So more about technology, just a little bit about the surrounding as well for you to get the glimpse of how important it is uh, the technology itself is for uh, for different well countries and of course for investors as well so thank you again for coming and let's begin so yes my name is michael i'm from estonia and i've been uh, well skyway investor and and uh, well speaker for uh, many years by now and it has been uh, honored to do that and uh, I'm very glad I found my way into the Skyway family, and now I can uh, I can get to share this information with you as well. So hopefully you enjoy and you will get some new knowledge. And yes, so let's get into it. All right. First of all, back in January this year, in the beginning, I was in United Arab Emirates, as I mentioned. And so there is the Sarcha Innovation Center uh, on the right side, on the left side, that's Sarcha American University area. So this is a very beautiful area overall. And now I will show you the pictures of the uh, Skyway uh, well facilities and the tracks itself as well. So yes, so here um, in the front, we have a cargo and passenger terminal and back there is container depot uh, terminal. So we have two track uh, some two tracks pa parallel tracks which are not the same by its well uh, standards and meanings and tra uh, track uh, well uh, material as well because they have to support different ideas one is for cargo for sea containers sorry for containers for sea containers yes the container terminal is for sea containers so the, those have to have to hold this track structure has to hold uh, a great amount of uh, way above and the passenger and cargo transportation uh, well track structure has to hold uh, well less way above because the vehicles are um, weighing less and uh, and well of course we all understand that sea containers are very heavy but yes so back then we had this uh, cargo and passenger terminal uh, track already lifted the progress was uh, well at the end we can say you can see there are some cranes still uh, working but uh, mostly it was all up above the ground and behind that you can see the container mm, track structure there are uh, just supports where back then uh, placed uh, and then the track structure had to be uh, well was was yet to be made but yeah it uh, it those both two tracks are 2.4 kilometers long, so they are well. It took uh, it took a great amount of minutes to drive uh, through this uh, track, so it was fabulous to see this uh, next to the road structure there. And of course, you might know that the first track, which was built in Sarcha, is 400 meters long, and that one was already a few years ago. Well, back a few years ago, it was already made. Yes, here it is, the first track, uh, basically. But the news itself, let's move on. Um, basically, when we came to Sarcha, when Skyway decided to come to Sarcha and start uh, 
constructing and building there these demonstration certification centers, then I immediately thought that that's like a window to tropical uh, climate countries. And it has proven, this theory has proven uh, right, because there we have to, well, compel with extreme high temperatures. Well, but when I was in uh, Sasha, not now, not this year in January, but before that, when there was no track yet, there was just supports back then, the 400 meter track supports. Yes, I've been there twice. Uh, then back then it was 50 degrees in the desert where they, con uh, well, they constructed it, uh, the track, those tracks back then. So there are very high temperatures and even above that. So we have to uh, make it resistance to these extremely high temperatures and in the cabin, in the saloon, that basically has to be plus 20, plus 24 around. So climate when we, as, as passengers, when we are traveling with, with Skyway, with Unicar. So lately, Korean delegation also got acquainted with Uniski Sky, uh, Sky company. So basically, this again shows that delegations all around the world, as I have shown you before in my previous webinars, delegations all around the world have come to Sasha as well as in uh, Belarus, where uh, in the city called Marina Gorka or near the city called Marina Gorka, we have this the first demonstration certification center called Echo Technopark. So both those two locations where we have multiple tracks already placed, uh, demonstrations are going constantly, uh, new models are coming out and um, the, the, those demonstrations take place. So uh, that shows how much interest uh, there is into the Skyway company. So yes, it is very, very great to, to see uh, this news. All right, and now a new grand project of Anatoly Nitsky. Anatoly Nitsky, I will show you the picture soon of him. He is the, he's Dr. Anatoly Nitsky, actually. He's the author, the mind behind this project because he is the creator. He has been doing the project for more than 40 years by now, around 44 or 45 years already. Uh, of course, it first started with sketches uh, on the paper and, and ideas in his he head, but uh, soon you will discover what has come out of those ideas uh, by the day. But Udera is basically a humus project. I remember 2019 when uh, the last uh, Eco Festival took place in Eco Techno Park in Belarus. Antonio Niski, Uniski kindly asked uh, all the participants, if possible, to bring the moist from or the soil from uh, from uh, different regions where people live. And he gathered the uh, the soil. He researched it, researched it, and found the best parts. What makes the well the soil so rich in in uh, flavonoids in different uh, ingredients to make the well the plants and whatever we want to grow there to make those grow faster better but but uh, doing that without using uh, different chemicals or, or um, well uh, yes not not very well not human friendly products so to say so it would be fully organic and and very very rich in in different uh, nutrients so that's uh, he, why he created Utera. This is basically an elixir, but all about this you can read more in your back office and take part of this uh, new grant project as well. And last but not least, well, this is the last news. Uh, Unitsky, you guys, sorry, was visited also by the Minister of Road Transport and Highways of India which is again, very great, uh, very great uh, information to, to, well, to get from the source, because that again shows how much importance uh, or, or the impact Skyway is making. And then of course, minister was very happy what he saw there. He got to test uh, drive the, the models. He, he saw all this, uh, well, the remote control, uh, panels and and the rooms and the, everything there all the facilities so he was he was absolutely very amazed what he saw 
But all right, let's get to the second part. Uh, now we'll, we're going to talk more about the uh, Unisky string technology. So the technology itself. And let me get to, here he is, Dr. Anatoly Unitsky, the man behind the project. And then, uh, well, he's absolutely brilliant, uh, brilliantly minded man. He has written many books. Uh, he's author of many uh, scientific researches. Uh, he has a lot of patents uh, to, to secure the project, to secure the Skyway technology. So this all makes it, uh, well, very strong company by, by the day, we can say that. But let's talk about uh, the idea now behind the project itself. So basically, um, string transport, as you saw from the previous pictures as well, it's elevated transportation technology. And the main idea is that it's not just a system, it's not just a railway or, or a unicar or a unibike, but it's a complete complex that combines a lot of different systems and subsystems. So basically what that means is, uh, is that uh, if we think about the tramways today, if there are, well, traffic jams already happening, there are, well, I, I just recently came from Saudi Arabia, for example, there are everywhere these uh, cameras that check the speed of, of the cars. So the cars were driving, well, in, in, uh, with the speeds that were allowed, so to say, but, but the traffic itself, it was crazy. They come from the right, they go to the left over four rows and so on. So there are, there are traffic jams constantly, day and night. So basically, if we, if we think about now, well, what would be the other solution or, or similar technology, for example, like tramway, if you put the tramway to do that road, where already the uh, traffic is crazy, it makes it even more crazier because now there is even more or less, uh, even less space than it than there was before. So that's why uh, Skyway or Anatoly Nisk and the whole, the whole team is is thinking uh, differently, and they are creating solutions to problems, not a not uh, being a source of uh, of of the, those problems. Yes. And, uh, and that's why the technology itself has to be elevated. It has to be up in the air. And that makes it also uh, more than 90% safer than, uh, well, whatever technology we would take and put into the traffic, to the ground floor, to the first level. It makes it much more safer because it, it does not collide with, uh, well, the bicycles, the cars, trams, whatever there are on the first, first level, pedestrians. Those are not an obstacle for us. We can fly basically or ride over them. The string, um, well, the railroad, it can even be elevated more than, uh, well, up to 100 meters high, basically. So we can go over the forest if you want, over the lakes, over the rivers. So there are complex solution. It's, it's like a package of solutions to nowadays problems. Because when we travel all around the world, for example, if a person travels, then he can see that he or she can see that there are many, many problems with the traffic today. And that's why, for example, in Europe, they want to ban cars entering the city centers and so on to, to make those that impact less, to make it more quieter. Well, but the reason is there is just not so there is not the space there is no space left to put the new cars which constantly come up um, by new drivers who will get driver license because today we we live in in developed countries we have this well very great crown for uh, for well the cars are affordable uh, almost every person who is already seven, 18 or 19 years old gets driver's license gets a car also. We don't have any more the system that we have one car per family or two cars, maybe per five people. Each person has to have their own cars and so on. So that those great new challenges which we face today. And Skyway is a solution to those. 
then we have the, all these stations. Uh, we can design the stations as we, well, as as for example, city designers say, or the city certain city uh, architects say that well, it has to be like this. It has to fit there. So our designers have thought all about that, and it's very flexible. Also, the supports which you saw in the in the previous slides, those can be designed as well. Basically, society wants, or as the city architects again want, or or the well, who orders the technology or buys the technology says that it has to be like this. So this, this, the details have to be like that. It's all doable. And uh, well, I told you already many advantages of elev uh, elevated locations. But uh, let's talk about the rolling stock, stock itself. There are, yes, there are more advantages. The speed, for example, uh, the urban uh, models, which we have like uh, Unicar, U-Bus, U-Car, um, those go up to 150 kilometers per hour. So that's more, more than enough. I do, I do not know any, well, technology that takes people from one place to another inside the city, which goes more than 150 kilometers per hour today, because there are many stops on the way and so on. So we just cannot get to those speeds, but it's possible with Skyway. Uh, the te technology itself allows it. So that's, that's, uh, that's very, very great. And then between the cities, for example, or the high speed, uh, or the, the roads, which, which are well, connecting, for example, one city to another. So there, there is a great distance between those. Uh, these models, we have these high-speed models, which go up to 500 kilometers per hour. So that's already very, very uh, fast. And we can even use, we have these uh, mm, track structures where we can use both sides. We can be up uh, driving like underneath the track structure, clinging basically there, like here you can see on the slide, and we can go simultaneously above the track structure itself as well. So that one goes, uh, it's, it's like basically above it, it's a 500 kilometers per hour model above, which is like express line, which goes directly from one city to another without uh, stops, for example, and beneath it, it can go like, for example, like this model here, like U car or U bus, which has multiple stops and goes 150 kilometers per hour maximum speed. And again, also we have this freight models, sea container models, which goes uh, which go up to 150 kilometers per hour. That's again enormous speed because if they think about sea containers and the transportation of sea containers today, then we can use trucks, ships, and trains today to take basically sea containers from one place to another. But the average speeds are very low, about 20, 30, maybe maximum, I think would be 40 kilometers per hour for the whole distance. Because there are, well, again, mandatory stops for trucks, drivers, traffics, uh, traffic jams, and, and so on. So, or the technologies which take sea containers from one place to another are uh, slow by, by their na nature. Yes. Yeah. And one advantage, uh, again, is that we can in uh, integrate our system basically to to make it possible to come out from the tram, for example, then uh, step uh, up to the station, the next station, go go on with Skyway models, then take a train, then take a bus. So it can be like, um, it, it's like a complex again, we can fit it in perfectly in the uh, existing uh, surrounding or environment already. This is U-Pike. Here on the slide, this is the first model which was ever created. U bike. Uh, so at the first, it was just this one, and then uh, then all the others came as well. But yeah, the it's it's electrified again. Very important to uh, understand that all this technology is uh, fully electrified. So that which means there is no CO two emissions directly direct CO two emissions. Uh, this uh, can be well reloaded with solar panels, wind turbines, which can be in integrated to the track structure, to the mo uh, mobiles the themselves, well, to the unibike or unicar, and uh, which can produce energy by, by the movement itself and so on. 
So it's 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 very very great technology, and absolutely twenty first century. Yeah, and uh, well, you might ask why we use unibikes or, or these small models. Well, there are some places where not so many people want to travel from one place to another, and that's why we can use uh, smaller models. Mm, or for sightseeing, for example, tours, city tours. Today we can see cable cars uh, in in many places. Uh, but uh, those can be uh, Skyway uh, track structures and models there, which we can take to go and see the, well, to take a tour around the city, but up high. So those, there are, there can be many reasons for, or for uh, ski lopes. Mm, yes, some ski resorts where we can use this. And they are beautiful. They are beautiful. They have, uh, they make, uh, much less noise than the other well competitors or similar technologies it's up to 70 decibels at the moment uh, that the noise which skyway uh, makes but they want to reduce it uh, to uh, 50 decibels so they are working constantly to to cover the track structure itself with special materials and to make these models to produce less noise and so on so so work constantly goes on and the seats are very, very comfortable. They are like uh, sitting in a limousine, for example. There are there are screens and everything, so you can monitor where you are at the moment, how far uh, how far we have to go, or what 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 what's the scheduled time for arrival and so on. So that's that's really nice. All right, let's uh, keep going. So this is the 48 uh, persons uh, fitting uh, U-Bus here, which you can see. Again, it can be basically in the center, you can see this uh, black stripe. Basically, it's possible to disconnect it from there and uh, put uh, one or two or three uh, models or this, it's like Lego, you can put, it, put them together and make it even longer so there would be more possible for more people to enter the board on the same time or the model on the same time so there are very very many different variations or uh, well again it's flexible technology and here you can see also the track structure where which i was telling you before where we can go above at the same time with uh, riding uh, like like here you can see this u-bus is, is riding underneath the track structure Yes, and again, different models, U-cars, U-buses, uh, uh, wider U-buses. Mm, so for, for different environments, for different uh, needs. So, so that's, that's why it's important, again, that we are fitting the, uh, into the surrounding where, where this technology is needed. And in tropical countries, where we, if you think about Asian countries, Thailand, Indonesia, whoa, there are many countries where well, the need for such technology is existing very, very strongly because, um, well, again, the, the, their people do not have this, well, they are not so developed countries, maybe everybody do not have cars or possibilities to buy car, cars, but the traffic is still very, very crazy. It's very polluted. So therefore, if we have these solutions to transport both cargo, sea containers, other materials, and passengers as well with elevate in elevated style up above the ground safe safely uh, well it's just it's just fabulous yes these are u cars this picture was taken uh, 2019 in uh, eco Technopark in marina corca in belarus and what they demonstrated here was another aspect of safety and I will explain how. So basically, if you can see it, these elements in the nose and in the back end, and uh, these elements basically match with other, well, the same model, but um, other uh, machinery. Like here, we have two machineries, two U buses. First U bus and the second U bus, they will click. And in that way, if it's needed, for example, if something happens with a model, something with a battery or whatever reasons, it's possible to push it or pull it to the station or to the maintenance. 
and that's uh, one one more well people ask uh, often that uh, how it's safe and uh, and i have explained that well we are elevated that's why we're already much safer all right but if anything happens there up high then well this is one of the uh, ways to transport the broken mach machine to the maintenance but if that's not possible for example there is 500 kilometers between the first model and the second model uh, so what we do then then there are some special traps underneath the seating area inside the cabin so basically we can put that uh, strap around our waist and there is some hook we can click it uh, inside the cabin and lift ourselves down with with a rope and this special equipment and uh, one worker of skyway also demonstrated it in a video in sarcha he was very big man 150 kilograms i believe around so well he looked very very big and he demonstrated it and the landing was so soft so it works it works very well so yes we can say it's 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 absolutely safe and just take a look you bus here interior there the seating area um, the screens everything so it's very comfortable we cannot say it's it's not comfortable it, it's 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 actually very very nice and this is our high speed high speed model up to 500 kilometers per hour and here this picture basically explains very well what i described before that being as a as an express line which goes above the track structure directly from one city to another for example and beneath it it can it can have like u bus or u car there driving uh, slower and taking many stops on the way and uh, all the all our models are shaped to cut perfectly the wind uh, to reduce the wind resistance and another effect uh, again uh, well effect which occurs with cars for example is screen effect so basically when car drives uh, uh, across the road mm, or on the road then the wind which comes uh, well which cuts the nose it goes beneath the car and there is asphalt or the road structure and that causes the screen effect it causes wind resistance but with skyway we do not have that uh, wind resistance because well we are elevated and the wind can go perfectly underneath um, a road structure so that's all these all these aspects combined mm, uh, our models are less well have uh, the wind resistance is less uh, than for example like this sports sport cars and it's less five up to ten times so it's 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 very very important because uh, therefore we have this um the, this the use of energy for example which we, what we need to to move uh, it's much less and then so on the, it makes it economical ecological and and uh, very environmental friendly so yeah a lot of work has been done to make these models uh, look like that and to to work like that in the, in the real well weather conditions and so on so that's why i really love this technology all the screens you can watch movies sit like in a limousine and then well and, and the view above again very nice yeah you can see here again very very great angles this is our freight transportation system so basically this one uh, we can well, transport uh, some rocks for example or, or uh, liquid or or whatever we we need to transport it's all possible it has to be modified a little bit uh, uh, to the needs but uh, all these possibilities uh, are there wood we can transport for example with the u-trans and of course the u-cont which is uh, for sea containers here you can see already uh, one live uh, demonstration has occurred uh, around already actually about one year ago but that one was a smaller sea container and then the bigger sea container uh, those demonstration and certification process will begin also soon so stay tuned yes you trans you can see here 
it's, it's very uh, convenient again for for longer distances to transport such goods for the mines or wherever uh, it can be useful all right and now we get to the um, development and uh, construction part and well the practical applications so we have our own production facilities all the equipment uh, i remember about five years ago when when they started to uh, well skyven units started to buy all these different um, well equipment uh, to construct from zero to 100 percent all these models themselves so we wouldn't have to rely on some third uh, companies or or third well possibilities but we would have all these uh, products the people the personnel and the equipment all we would have in our own facilities and that has been done by today which is which is very important yeah here you can see from different different uh, sides or angles these uh, demonstrations of course we have to construct uh, all the cabins uh, all this this plastic and metal equipments the track structures but then we have this it side where we have with computers and we'll have these brains and chips there installed so we can control them remotely and then so on so it's very very important to yeah test these electronics and then uh, integrate them as well especially in tropical climates and in belarus what it what is again very great to understand um, is that we have today we have two demonstration certification center one is in belarus the other one is in sarcha united arab emirates in belarus we have minus 30 degrees in the winter time plus 30 uh, in the summertime approximately and uh, in the tropical climates we have this very high temperatures so we can test and demonstrate this uh, models in in a wide range of, of uh, climate uh, conditions and that's very important for us to succeed yeah so yes again here it is the Sasha and some of the team behind behind this uh, this work in in Sasha of course we need to certify all these anchors anchor supports uh, road structures models themselves all these different aspects have to be certified tested mm, there are there there will be thousands of kilometers uh, test drives before we can get these certif certifications so so yes today we have many of those but of course we have many to achieve more so that's why the work also have to continue constantly every day and then uh, in some years we will see these results with our eyes when we go or feel it with when we go and step on board of a uh, sky for you sky transportation different vehicles and drive from one city to another for example so that will be awesome and one more thing uh, echo house is uh, one another project or a side project of anatolia niski as you can see here down below on the slide as well so basically this is an this is a house which produces everything itself the food the the it grows it, it, it food then the, it holds its climate the energy as well so that's that, that's the reason or the, or the idea or the mission of this uh, project is to construct a house which basically uh, doesn't need anything from exterior but gets everything from in interior uh, side of it so that's that's again another great uh, thing to know and it's made of out of food the house itself and in uh, sarcha they constructed or got the permission to build this wooden house and that's the first wooden house ever built in sarcha or where, where government gave permission to someone to build a wooden house so again it shows their relationship and how strong they are yes here it is tropical u car uh, some pictures uh, of uh, ecotechno park in marina corca in republic of belarus where we have well there there we have 
I think seven or eight different drug structures, basically all the drug structures are uh, there as well, except of, uh, of course, of container transportation technology, drug structure and tests, which will take place in uh, Sarcha. But here you can see also on this slide, all these technologies, uh, well, up high. Ray and the U cars, U buses, U wind um, and high speed transportation here. In, in yes. And some other projects, hmm, uh, well, which which are uh, in the future idea, of course. But um, basically, the linear city is the one you see so here on this slide as well. It basically is it, it's basically like a pedestrian cluster type settlement, which uh, which is like a new concept of urban transportation. And it, it makes means that there are these long buildings which are all connected with each other with the Skyway transportation system. But these buildings have all these facilities, sporting centers, so grocery stores, hotels. Basically, you can leave there or you can come out of the building and walk to your house, which is nearby. But you do not need to drive there with car. And that's uh, that's that's one one idea of of this project, Linear City. Echo House already told you about an echo energy. Basically, to I already mentioned that as well during the presentation that we can use the solar panels, wind turbines to, to produce more energy locally, and and uh, not producing so much CO two levels directly. But yes, we have uh, today a great team about a uh, thousand uh, different workers. They are all, well, they, those people are engineers, designers, marketing professionals. Mm, they are doctors, uh, very, very highly valued uh, people who all enjoy working toward this new goal, who have been hired by Skyway. And then think about it, it's, it's about 1,000 people working every day. It's, it's, it's a great, great company that we have today here in front of our eyes. Yes. So here is this team of Belarus. They're working constantly. It's just awesome. Yeah. And some futuristic pictures as well of uh, idea of a linear city on the sea or on the uh, water, basically to build these platforms and houses. So we do not have to just use the mainland, but we can start using the sea more, more and more. And then all these are possible with our technology Skyway. All right. Thank you, everybody, for uh, listening, for coming to today's webinar. I hope you enjoyed what we discussed today and got some new information. Um, also, I have to mention that this is this was our uh, last webinar in English presented, presented by me, uh, possibly. Uh, because there will be new formats of uh, presentations, which will be even more awesome, and uh, and I hope you continue to to go there uh, to go those uh, webinars as well, and of course get uh, well get into the information. You can get the information from your website, from your back offices, mm, check it constantly or 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 at some time, so you could be well on time with uh, with the webinars. And you could see uh, what uh, Skyway is achieving, so and what new projects there are available to invest, for example, and then to share with people. So those are all, well, yeah, those are all very great opportunities because this uh, company is absolutely amazing, and I hope you also see that and and uh, take part of it and then be active, of course, and stay healthy and strong. So, all right, maybe some questions if you have. And um, if not, then I'm, I thank you again for coming to today's webinar and hopefully see you soon. But if not, then maybe see you some at some events uh, or, 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 well, even though I wish you uh, good luck and, and uh, strong health. So goodbye, everybody. And have a great evening and continuous week. Bye-bye.